Let's begin this chapter with some examples. We have observed in nature objects such as petals of a flower, holes of a honeycomb, grains on a maize cob, spirals on a pineapple, etc. We notice that these objects follow a certain pattern. Now let's move to day-to-day -day like situations. Situation 1. A display of soaps in hypermarket consists of 15 rows, each containing four fewer soaps than row below. Situation 2. Raja has salary of 6,000 and an annual increment of rupees 700. Situation 3. A city sets a fine of rupees 500 for driving without helmet. This fine increases by rupees 200 for each subsequent offences. In the examples, we notice that there is some pattern followed. We find that the succeeding terms are obtained by adding a fixed number, in other by multiplying with a fixed number, in another we find that they are squares of consecutive numbers, and so on. In this chapter, we shall discuss one of these patterns in which succeeding terms are obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding terms. We shall also see how to find the nth terms and a sum of n consecutive terms. At the end of this chapter, you will be able to explain arithmetic progressions, find the nth term of an AP, find the sum of first n terms of an AP, arithmetic progression and introduction. Consider the list of numbers and write your observations on number pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4, 100, 70, 40, 10, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. Note, each of the numbers in the list is called a term. Observations. In 1, each term is 1 more than the term preceding it. In 2, each term is 30 less than the term preceding it. In 3, each term is obtained by adding 1 to the term preceding it. Numbers are listed in a definite pattern, which are in sequence, and hence we are able to find the next terms. Such list of numbers is said to form an arithmetic progression AP. Some features of AP are, an arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term except the first term. The fixed number is called the common difference of the AP. It can be positive, negative or zero. The minimum information needed to know about AP are first term A, common difference D. A progression is a special type of sequence in which the relation between any two consecutive terms is the same. For example, the following examples are not in progression. 1, 4, 9, 16, 3, 5, 8, 13. Because the relation between any two consecutive terms is not same. There are three types of progression. Number one, arithmetic progression, AP. Number two, geometric progression, GP. Number three, harmonic progression, HP. Note, we will be learning only arithmetic progression. Such list of numbers is said to form an arithmetic progression, AP. Rajan had offered the job with a starting salary of rupees 8,000 with an annual increment of rupees 500. We'll try calculating his salary for fourth year. To find the salary of the fourth year, first we need to calculate his monthly salary for the second year. That is, rupees 8,000 plus 500 equal to rupees 8,500. In the same way, we can find the monthly salary for the third and fourth by adding rupees 500 to the salary of the previous year. 
Salary for first year is equal to rupees 8,000. Salary for rupees second year is equal to rupees 8,000 plus 500 equal to rupees 8,500. Salary for third year is equal to rupees 8,000 plus 500 plus 500 equal to rupees 8,000 plus 2 into 500 equal to a rupees 8,000 plus 3 minus 1 into 500 equal to rupees 9,000. Salary for fourth year, rupees 9,000 plus 500 equal to rupees 8,000 plus 500 plus 500 plus 500 equal to rupees 8,000 plus 3 into 500 equal to rupees 8,000 plus 4 minus 1 into 500. Observations Just write down the salary for first, second, third and fourth year we can observe that numbers are in AP. Observe that we are getting a list of numbers 8,000, 8,500, 9,000, 9,500, 10,000. These numbers are in AP. Now let's calculate Raja's salary for 15th year. Salary for the 15th year is equal to salary for the 14th year plus rupees 500 equal to rupees 8,000 plus 500, plus 500, plus 500, plus 500, 13 times, equal to rupees 8,000, plus 14, into 500, equal to rupees 8,000, plus 15, minus 1, into 500, equal to rupees 15,000. That is, first salary, plus 15, minus 1, into annual increment. Salary for 25th year, in the same way, his monthly salary for the 25th year would be shown. Salary for 25th year. Rupees 8,000 plus 25 minus 1 into 500 equal to rupees 20,000. That is, first salary plus 25 minus 1 into annual increment. This example would have given you some idea about how to write the 15th term or the 25th term and more generally the nth term of the AP. Let A, A1, A2 be an AP whose first term A is A and the common difference is D. Then the second term A is equal to A plus D equal to A plus 2 minus 1 D. The third term A is equal to A1 plus AD equal to A plus D plus D equal to A plus 2 D equal to A plus 3 minus 1 D. The fourth term, A, is equal to A plus D equal to A plus 2D plus D equal to A plus 3D equal to A plus 4 minus 1D. Looking at the pattern, we can say that the nth term of A is equal to A plus N minus 1D. So, the nth term A of the AP with first term A and common difference D is given by A is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. A is also called the general term of the AP. If there are M terms in the AP, then A represents the last term, which is sometimes also denoted by L. Finding sum of N terms of an AP. We will now use the same technique to find the sum of the first n terms of an AP. A, A plus D, A plus 2D, and so on. The nth term of this AP is A plus N minus 1 into D. Let us denote the sum of the first n terms of the AP. We have S is equal to A plus A plus D plus A plus 2D plus so on up to A plus N minus 1 into D. Rewriting the terms in reverse order, we have S is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D plus A plus N minus 2 into D plus so on up to A plus D plus A. On adding 1 and 2 term wise, we get 2S is equal to N into 2A plus N minus 1D plus 2A plus N minus 1 into D plus 2A 
plus n minus 1 into d plus 2a plus n minus 1 into d. N terms. Or 2s is equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d since there are n terms. Or s is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, the sum of the first n terms of an AP is given by s is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. We can also write this as s is equal to n by 2 into a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. That is, s is equal to n upon 2 into a plus a. Now, if there are only n terms in an AP, then A is equal to L, the last term from 3. We see that S is equal to n by 2 into A plus L. This form of the result is useful when the first and the last terms of an AP are given and the common difference is not given. Properties of an AP Property 1 For an AP, with first term A and common difference D. If any real number K is added to each term of an AP, then the new sequence is also an AP with first term A plus K and the same common difference D. For example, 3, 8, 13, 18, 23 is an AP. With A is equal to 3, D is equal to 5. If we add 2 to each term, we get 3 plus 2, 8 plus 2, 13 plus 2, 18 plus 2, 23 plus 1. That is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, which is also an AP with A is equal to 5, D is equal to 5. Property 2. For an AP with first term A and common difference D, if each term of an AP is multiplied by any real number K, then the new sequence is also an AP with the first term AK and the common difference DK. For example, 1, 5, 9, 13, 17 is an AP with A is equal to 1, D is equal to 4. If we multiply each term of AP by 2, we get 2, 10, 18, 26, 34, which is also an AP with A is equal to 2 and D is equal to 8. Particular terms in an AP. We conveniently choose 3, 4, 5 consecutive terms of an AP as follows. Three consecutive terms of an AP are A minus D, A, A is equal to D. Four consecutive terms as A minus 3D, A plus D, A plus 3D. Five consecutive terms as A minus 2D, A minus D, A, A plus D, A plus 2D.